Hello everyone, here is the storyline for the episode that aired last night. At the beginning of this episode, Pilsung had his first day as the CEO of GoGo Entertainment. He received many congratulations from his co-workers, and Jin Dan, who saw Pilsung walking into the company, swore to himself that the first person he would kick out of the company after being adopted by Jin Tae was Pilsung. On the same day, writer Kim Jo Ji Young to be female lead for the drama titled Soul Lady that she wrote. Ji Young was indeed happy when she got the lead role in the drama, but she also felt burdened because this was her first time leading a drama. She was worried about disappointing many people and also thought that she got the lead role because of Pilsung's help. However, she felt quite relieved and promised to give her best for the drama after Pilsung told her that he did not interfere at all in the selection of the main character because the person who chose the main actor was writer Kim and not anyone else. Jiung came out of Pilsung's room crying. She really liked Pilsung and couldn't lie about her feelings. Every time she saw Pilsung, she missed him but she couldn't express it because she was still Jin Dan's girlfriend. Jiung thought that she could end her relationship with Jin Dan if she returned the $500,000 that Jin Dan gave to Mija to pay off her debt. So, she begged Mr. Yoon to give her an advance payment early so she could pay off her debt to Jin Dan. With Pilsung's approval as the CEO, Mr. Yoon transferred 50% of Jiyoung's total salary for the drama that Jiyoung would play to Jaedong. After Jaedong deducted other costs for the agency, he sent $200,000 to Mija. From the beginning, Mija did not agree if the money was used to pay off Jin Dan's theft, but she pretended to agree so that Jiyoung would not be noisy anymore. Jiung found out that Mija had not transferred the money to Jin Van when Jin Dan told her that he had not received a penny from Mija. Jiung immediately met Mija and asked for the $200,000. Jiung and Mija fight. Mija still forced Jiung to date Jin Dan even though Jiung didn't like Jin Dan. Their fight ended when Dosik and Dojun came. They were both disappointed in Mija because she did something very bad to Jiung. The Jun even invited Jiung to leave the house to live with him, but Jiung still wanted to try to live in the same house with Mija. Dosuk also asked Do Jun and Jiung not to be too mean to Mija because Mija was their mother. Then in this episode, Dosik asked Mija to transfer the money to Jin Dan, but Mija still didn't want to. She even said that she didn't have the money anymore. When Dosik forced Mija with anger, Mija had no other choice but to transfer the $2,100 to Jin Dan. After that, Mija cried as if she was a victim who was very hurt because none of her children sided with her, even though she was the real criminal for her children. And because Dojun and Dosik wanted to pay off their debt to Jin Dan as soon as possible, they both did a lot of part-time jobs. In this episode, Jaedong took Jiung to the salon to change Jiung's appearance. Jiung looked very beautiful and looked like a woman who lived in Seoul. Even writer came and Pilsung really liked Jiung's latest appearance. Then, Pilsung also gave a necklace that he had previously bought in Paris. The necklace was indeed for Jiung, so he hoped Jiung would accept the necklace without feeling burdened. Jiung could only cry every time she was in a situation where she missed Pilsung, but couldn't express it. Another story comes from Aikyo, who did a genetic test between Sanggu and Jindan, where the test result proved that Jindan was Sanggu's biological son. This fact made Aikyo panic because she was sure that she would be kicked out of the Gong family if the Gong family found out about the fact. So she asked Sanggu to go to the Philippines for a while, reasoning that now was a very important time for Jindan because Jindan would soon be adopted by Jinfek so that Jindan could become the sole heir to the APP group. Aikyo said that if anyone saw her and Sanggu often meeting, 
it would cause problems for Jindan. She promised to ask Sanggut to return to Korea if all these important things had been resolved. In addition, she also asked Sanggut not to tell anyone that Jindan resembled Sanggut's late father. Initially, Sanggut agreed with AQ, but he felt something was odd about AQ's words. He felt that he didn't need to go to the Philippines if he only needed to avoid meeting AQ. He also suspected that the reason AQ told him to go to the Philippines was that he was Jindan's biological father. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.